Hi, I'm Callie Walsh-Bailey, and I'm delighted to share a bit about our study to develop and test three different tools for tracking implementation strategies and treatment adaptations. This study was led by Dr. Kara Lewis. Implementation strategies are actions taken to support the integration of an evidence-based intervention into routine practice. Such interventions may be adapted, or in other words, intentionally modified, to improve their fit and effectiveness. It's common to tailor implementation strategies to better address barriers and facilitators and to adapt interventions to better fit the delivery context. However, valid, reliable, pragmatic tools for tracking such activities are currently lacking. So the goal of our study was to test three tools that could be used to systematically track implementation strategies and treatment adaptations. Our goal was to test tools that varied in their degree of structure from broad and open-ended to narrowly focused and close-ended, and we hypothesized that there would be a trade-off between the completeness and the quality of data gathered from the tools and their ease of use based on their degree of structure. Based on previous literature uh, and tracking tools available, we developed an open-ended brainstorming log, a moderately structured activity log, and a highly structured detailed tracking log. All of the tools sought to capture the same type of information on implementation strategies and treatment adaptations, and were informed by several frameworks and guidelines published in the implementation science literature. We piloted our tools among a treatment developer, school-based mental health providers, and implementation practitioners who supported the implementation of a group-based depression prevention program in New York schools. We collected mixed methods data to determine what kind of information each tool yielded and to gather perceptions on the tracking process, tracking tool preferences, and recommendations for improvement. We learned that different tools might better serve different phases of an implementation process, and that tools can be aligned with existing documentation practices, such as provider session notes, to build upon current efforts rather than creating additional work. We hope that these tools can be utilized by researchers and practitioners to support practical systematic tracking before and during implementation efforts. Check out our paper published in Implementation Research and Practice to learn more.